Ubisoft 90. Or 89B, depending on who you listen to. Oh, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. We're playing more Grim Fand... Oh, no, we did that last episode. We're playing the most, mostiest, the mostiest Grim Fandango. Um, mostiest. On Christmas Day. Um, and in no way did we record it the day after we recorded last week's episode. Honest. Okay. So then let's get back to business. Um, one key factor that a lot of you may have been shouting about um, that I found out this morning is um, there is a run button. So apologies oh. to people <laughs> who've watched us walking around slowly everywhere. We're going to test out the run button this week. Uh, this, yeah, this week. Oh, I hope it works. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, um, so with that said, without any further ado, Let's get back to here. Right. We're, we're, whoa, it's been a week. I can't remember what we did last night. I mean. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I, I can't remember where we are either. Um, I think. We need to be heading towards Toto's place. It's possible that we need to get a metal detector before we go there. What makes you say that? Reading a website. Oh, or a different one to what I'm reading. Possibly. Happy Possibly. to try it. Oh. Which, which okay. uh, well, you've got a, a well-drawn cart cartographic <laughs> map that you're using as a study. Which uh, way do you think we should go? I'm not entirely sure because Toto's is not written on the on the map. No, but is Toto's the tattoo place? I don't know. I think it is the tattoo place. But again, that's not written on this map either. Oh, oh on the oh. card. Let me see it. Oh, 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 one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. Uh, still no room for you on board. No word from Naranja, but he's done this before. But I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, yeah. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Right, so... So, Toto's place is you return to the Bone Wagon's garage and then go south. Yeah, you've said that, but I don't think we've seen the Bone Wagon's garage. Yeah, I presume it's near, near the... Hey, look at that! Ooh. Right, so that's the cat club. Oh, that's so fucking speedy! So... Ooh, we can't get anything from the cat club. That's not where we need to be. Right, so we could go on and talk to the bees, or we could go left. Here. Oh, we go left, and then we go up. That's up the. the... How do we get to? How do I don't we get know. to where the metal detection lady is? The blimp. Is it the blimp? I've slept since then, you know. Ah, it's been a whole week. Hasn't it? Yeah. Now, there's something up and behind here, isn't there? Yes, this is our office. That's your office? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Gotcha. So, oh, I can't remember where the blimp was. Um, oh. The blimp is... It by the is... I think it's by the Kit Kat Club. It is by the Kit Kat... <laughs> it's by the Cat Race Track. Yeah, you have to go up. I think you have to go upstairs. Right. 
That's going down. Oh, you go up the step steps, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Good job he runs now. Yeah. Don't it. No, that takes you to the boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to go up behind the blue casket. Do we, though? Do we yeah. Need... If you want the... I'm looking at the map. Oh, 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 you can go that way, yeah. Go over that. Run, you bastard, run! <laughs> We'd have finished this game by now if we knew about this. Yeah. I'm on duty. <laughs> I'd like some gold classic vodka right this second. Sure, he's still got his eye Yeah. I don't think I could swallow any more metal right now. <laughs> Manny, I'm on duty. Stand in the metal detector. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Stand in the arch thing. We have done this. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Uh. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. I'm so confused by this bit. Getting a pissed. You need. You want to get a drunk? Well, I want. I, I want that, and I don't know how to get it off her. <laughs> um. Are you sure I can't just? Don't touch. There must be a way when it goes dark. No. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Okay, I'll do whatever you say then. Oh, hold on a minute. How to get the metal detector? Stay there a second. Neck the gold flake booze you picked up earlier, then try to pass through the metal detector. Work through the dialogue options until Carla gets cross and hurls the metal detector at you. Not too close. Oh, she, she Sir, checked it out the window. Will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You're clean. Try drinking more of the vodka. Thanks, Manny. I almost got to strip search you. Well, maybe just a sip. Uh, I don't think I could swallow any more metal right now. Sir, 
Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. <laughs> and, of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. That's interesting. I always like dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Never oh, you go to Poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time Speaking back when I was detectives. six. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? <laughs> no way. Oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere Actually, you looked. you farther than that in your story. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. I Don't you just you love just prunes? just at the part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Yep. Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. There we go. Oh, it's in the cut letter then. Blech. Bye, Carla. Drop dead. <laughs> now, was the it, no? That's the kitchen in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the way. And then to the. Beloved the sense, left. this right regal side. and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sans Poof was in the lead. Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. <laughs> the You just scythe and have a prod around. It's going. Come back. Can he not run when he's got a scythe in his hand? Aha! Didn't press the button for that. <laughs> a little stinky, but it could be worse. Oh, go wash it. No, we'll lick it clean later. <laughs> Oh, 
What's the tattoo place down here? Um, I don't know. Where's the morgue? The morgue's down there, isn't it? Morgue is when you take the lift up to our office. Yeah. Is um. There's a steps going downwards, and that's where the morgue. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotcha. This this is the tattoo place. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Are you kidding him? You'd see me do it. I don't really want to do that. Oh, do we need to turn the lights off then or something? No. Shut the damn door. Nothing to eat in there. You will want a snack. Go oh, get mother. Can't touch that. A lot of stains for a guy with no bodily fluids. I don't really doubt I'll be touching that anytime soon. So he's happy to pick stuff out of cat litter, but not a grotty quilt. Yeah, he'll do. Yeah, he'll do. Um, what are those other coloured things on there? Are they anything? Binders of tattoo designs. They're labelled nautical and nice, and a third one just says anchormania. Okay. Can't do anything with another. Yeah, and shag five dollar. Me if them fuck your bell pull fire at. Okay. What was that? Sounded Russian. I was gonna say that sounded proper foreign. No, oh, I don't. I don't know what to do. What have we got? Have we got everything we need to be in here? Well, I don't know. I don't really want to do that. What is that? I think we need to head over to the Be mall. Expected? Are you with the health department or something? Go away! I pay my money this month. There must be something we have to do in here. Well, I think we have to find that tattoo. Can you put you the that. dirty water in the gold vodka and then swap the vodka for what he's picking up? I don't know if that's possible. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. There's stronger stuff than that in there already. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, you've tried using it, haven't you? Uh, Good. Um, I need that. Strong. Need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Maybe we've got to work through some dialogue. <laughs> Looks like it hurts. There aren't any dialogue trees. Looks like it hurts. Oh, okay. Now we've got to be able to do something with our bottle then. Yeah. Because we've got to get him asleep and take his dog tags. Right, okay. I feel like them. There was nothing to interact with. Okay. Right, I, I know where we are now. Sorry. This is Toto's, isn't it? It is. Okay. So, um, open the fridge to the left and take the drawer from inside. Then wait for Naranja to look away before using the, that baster you filled up earlier on his drinks. This will knock him out. So we have to open that, go to the drink, blah, blah, blah. See? Pretty much we did all the stuff. Go to the drink now. Picking that up. Leave it open. Go to, go to the drink. There we go. Just didn't quite get it in the right order. You broke it. No, it won't shut. Nemozogia, hold still. What are you? Dead. Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drugs. Resek Chavarko. What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle fools, huh? I get the Osgon on the Put Engem at the name, folks. Give his at me to tell you I shan't ball on the watch. Let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. In my ears. Well, he sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah, yeah. You make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Let's see what you got on you, a uh, sailor. Are you kidding me? Seaman and Selmo Naranja and some third class. Doesn't look like I gave showing him up the idea in the, in the first place. Right, so I we have need his stripes. So you still going? Now we need to go to Glasgow. Hey, listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. So remember, loads even the uh, the morgue. So we need to take that bridge underneath the airship. We need to go back to the morgue first, don't we? Yeah, so I just said. Okay, that's this way. Yeah. Right, 
stick the tags on the corpse he's not attending to. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Now you give him the metal detector so he can find the dog tags. Ah, okay. Why we needed it. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this will turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Velasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Right. Okay. Back to the blue casket. <clears throat> oh, it's so much quicker now you can run, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Okay. See these these ones down by your. You need that book, so we need to speak to these and show them Salvador's letter. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale. A spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Grab the book. Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother.
Right, let's go see the CBs. CBBCs. CBBBBs. CBGBs. <laughs> the BCBGBBs. <laughs> What's the buzz, boys? Yeah, it's bad down here, Manny. It's like it's like we want to control the means of, of like uh, things and stuff, you know? I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest <laughs> living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. You bees gotta be strong. Easy for you to say, Topsider. We need to give them the book somehow. Labor Organization and Revolt Made Easy. Chapter 1. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. Hmm. I think these are the words you're looking for. <coughs> the workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back. Yeah, hmm. <coughs> Maybe a bee agitator. I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. And where's that lawyer? In the high roller lounge. I thought we might have had some tools. Um, not yet. Tools down. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, high roller no. lounge is back in the cat place, isn't it? Yes. Oh, this has made all the difference, the running thing, honestly. Um, I think it. I think it's through the kitchen, isn't it? Nobody there. Don't we have to go through the kitchen and up the lift? Is that upstairs? I can't. No. Oh, I thought that was the kitchen. Yeah. All right. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah. Yeah. So where's the lawyer? Is it in the high roller lounge? Oh, Nicholas Virago. I don't recognise the name. Punch it, buddy! Uh, you got it! Oh, for crying out! Not seen this guy before. Boy, that Nick sure gets around. You're doing it! 
Yeah, he's the one that was with that other woman. Nick Barago. What are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. Up, you stupid cat! I already... I need to blackmail him with that Carla. to you, Calavera. Olivia, sorry. You can do it! So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw You're shut. Doing it. I'd keep my jaw shut. Run. Oh yes. You remember him now just because of his accent? Go, yes. Go. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Get that mouth! Friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Bus, 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 bus. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. Come on! The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. What's and that's that? why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, that's but I don't do odd jobs. Open it up on the straightaways, Kitty! What's that? How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Go, Kitty! Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes. They keep themselves pretty clean. Come on. How do we blackmail him? We don't have anything, Watch do we? In the air! Let's go! We don't know, but we need to speak to him about Olivia. Because remember, um, he's having an affair with her. Virago, I really yeah, yeah. need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is what? full. What? So what are you going to do? What? What? Oh, for crying out loud! There you go. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you are gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Right. Now we need to take his um, cigarette case and take it up to Carla for some reason. Man, this is going to get me in trouble. Go, Kitty! Run! You got it! I don't, I don't know how be a good idea to barge into Nick's office while he's meeting with Nick. Ooh. Come on! Baby needs a new pair of glass packs! Go, Kitty! God, oh, this is noisy, isn't he? How did we get What's out? That? I don't know. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while we with Nick. There we go. So, Come on! Carlos is... Carlos... Carlos is security guard that had the metal detector. Oh, so she's up in the blimp. Bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Oh. Oh, for crying out loud! Buzz, 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 buzz! Open it up on the straightaways, Kitty! I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers, loud Doc, can they? Come on! Baby needs a new pair of glass packs! Yeah! Alright, I can't remember how to get there, but it's up to the blimp. Oh, there we go. To her then. Forgiving me yet? Still in the anger phase. 
Right, give her the cigarette case. She'll think it's a bomb. What's that? Um, I would go, I don't know, find it under your desk. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? <laughs> Either or. <laughs> no, there was a shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh, my God. Give me that. It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. <laughs> oh, she's such a bitch, isn't she? <laughs> Okay, we need to go to the lighthouse now. Lighthouse? Yeah, which is past the bees. Yes. Past the bees. Past the bees, yeah. I think it's the other arrow you needed to do. There we go. That key should give us entry now to the lighthouse. It's locked. No shield. What was Nick doing with this key? What was Nick doing with this key? Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola! Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! There's the picture. Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Okay. Um, we need to go get Lola's jacket then from the coat exchange. That's what the ticket's for. Said it was a picture of a tongue. 
Yeah, but it also said the number on it, didn't it? 22. Do you remember where you're going? You don't need a map, do you? No. <laughs> Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me hear. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes. But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system. She sounds like me. Scat is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, did you look through the jacket? Can do. Oh no, there's something in it we need. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. Okay, I'm confused now. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. Okay. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Right, well, it's... What? So it's uh, the next bit says, uh, you'll find a piece of paper that you need. Make your way to Toto's and leave Lupe find the message. I don't know what the message means. So we've got to go back to the tattoo place. Yeah. Oh. This is confusing. <laughs> God, it seems so much faster than yesterday. what we're coming back here for we need to give that scrap of paper to toto 
and then after that go to the racetrack. It makes no sense to me. I don't understand. I don't know why. But that's what we need to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skeeter, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, head to the racetrack now. You're like, you're like a walking map, you know where you're going. Where in the racetrack? Um, oh, it doesn't say. It says, um, make you know the ticket printer that we picked up? Yeah. We need to make a ticket for week two, Tuesday, race six. Oh. And then... Hey? Eh? How the hell are we going to do that? I don't know. Have we actually been to the racetrack yet, though? Okay. What did you say? Week two. Okay. Um, Tuesday. Race six. Okay. Um, and then head over to the photo finish counter, which is located just to the rear of the steps you use to access the racetrack. And hand your picture over to the attendant. Okay. Um, I, I don't know where that bit is. Oh. Why won't he go in that bit? It's locked. He's not going down here. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it's got to be up here. Nope. No, what's in that yellow room there? It's a path to the high rollers. Okay, what's the other side? You're doing it! Nobody there. Hello? Oh, we... yeah. oh, hi. Betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. Um, right, we need to take that picture to Nick. Who's Nick? Is he the Irish person? Oh, yeah. 
The Irish lawyer. Yeah. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts. Post time. No more bets. Go! 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 Open it up on the straightaways, Kitty! Get that mouth! Look what I found at the photo finish booth. This is it! Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. Oh, what do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly That's in prison merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Okay. Okay, up to Manny's office then. And we are very, very close to finishing year two. So we're going to be doing the roulette wheel thing that we buggered about with before. Okay, when the right hand wheel glows red, interact with the right hand. The 32, rouge, very pass, 32, red. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien n'a pas plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Le numéro gagnant, le 5, rouge, impéré manque, 5, red. So there's something to do with these red lights, yeah? Yeah, it says when the Madame right hand red light. Monsieur, s'il vous plaît, ladies and gentlemen, please place your Close bets. Red. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus, les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. So the next one, then. Yeah, so when the next one is, you interact with the magnet. Right. And Vogan should then goes to the operation. We've already Ten done that. Then. Black, house pays all winners. Le that, that figures a cut scene for the next year. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. So now? Now, yeah. Le numéro gagnant, le 30, rouge, Perepaz, 30, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Because it says that... Um... When the right hand wheel glows red, 
wheel light, sorry, glows red, interact with the magnet and wait for Bogan to close the operation down. Once you've done this, Glottis will be booted from the VIP lounge and you'll be whisked off to year three of the game. I've always meant to hide that better. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. It's just a timing thing, then. 14 is the winner. Le 14. Numero 14, la gagne. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. 14 is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. 14 is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Personally. How long are you going to close it for? Huh? Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, Benny, I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time. I promise. Captain, Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Okay. Um, so we're officially halfway through the game. Okay. That's depressing. <laughs> Only halfway. Yeah. Well, I presume this is four years worth. And we've just started year three, so. Yeah. Ensign. Ensign Arnold was just a kid. Oh, 
Oh, no. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Okay, there's two red buttons. One on the left wall, one on the right. Use the them to lift the tankers up. Okay, it says, drop the left hand anchor, then use the levers to select the left and select the left arrow. When the ship's finished moving, press the right hand button to drop the other anchor. Press it again to bring the interlock pair of anchors to the surface. No idea what you just said. Okay. Left hand button. Left hand anchor down, use the levers and select the left arrow. Okay, now go and press the right hand button. Um, oh, yeah. Do I need to lift up the other anchor? No, and it says then press it again to bring the interlock pair of anchors up to the surface. So press the red button, that red button again. Right, now look out of the porthole and use Manny Scythe on the anchors. I don't know what the point of all of this is. No. Right, okay. Well, there you go. And then go over to the left hand button and push it. Gladys, cover and your then use the levers and press the up button. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Just made your own bit of shit. <laughs> Just a little farther, Gladys. Okay, Let's head towards the light. Manny, choking! Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have long. Hey, 
You live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. Oh, Lola. Looks like I let you down again. Oh, I think her days of use are over. I told you that name was bad luck. Hey. Sorry. Oh, I think her days of use are over. Do you mean this light? Oh, it says that cool the light. I think that's the pearl. I'd definitely go over there first chance I get. Oh, there's a light there. Dark water <laughs> here and there. He won't go that way. Yeah, he will. He just won't run that way. Hey, brave captain here in the darkest depths the fears of me all right all right i believe you just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice huh here comes one now amigo hey i'm talking to you okay that might not have been a sea monster but it was pretty spooky. I'd definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. What? Could you not interact with that person? Oh, it's not a person, a thing. Oh, it is a person I can't really see. I didn't get it quick enough. Okay. So it says, when the character gets near, speak to him, work through all the dialogue options, let him carry on wandering, then interact with him as he stops by the edge of the light. The minute you have him in your clutches, interact with Glottis, who will grab the fella for you. i definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. One assumes he's coming back round in a minute. You'd think so, yeah. It's a shame he hasn't got a run button. Amigo! Hey! I'm talking to you! Híjole, he looks like he's been down here a long time. He ignores me. Well, uh, keep trying. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny. Not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano. long wait for him to come back round. Yeah, Jesus. Shame he hasn't got a run button, in it? Yeah. Amigo, hey, I'm talking to you. You all right? Oh, the spirit of the land, Manny. Not of the... Hang in there, Mano. He obviously will speak to you, because it says, when the character gets near, speak to him, work through all the dialogue options. But well, I say, how are you doing? And he keeps walking. Yeah. The 
there must be something other than just waiting for him to come back round. Yeah. Perhaps if I'm stood at this side of the screen, he has to walk past me, doesn't he? Well, it said head towards the light, didn't it? So I'm presuming you have to stand over by that light. Okay. Amigo! Hey! I'm talking! Híjole, he looks like he's been down here. Amigo! Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it. Under I'm, so I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it sh right into that. Oh, God, you can't, can you? Are you just gonna walk around? I don't know. It says, let him carry on wandering, then interact with him as he stops by the edge of the light. The minute you have them in your clutches, interact with Glottis, oh, who will grab the shadow for you. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Could you take us to the Pearl? <laughs> You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker, that's the moon! Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured it'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Oh, ask him the eyebrows thing. Come on. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. 
What's the problem with mm -hmm. boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Where you get that coral? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? <laughs> Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine. Not picking that up. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. It's right with Lotus. Oh, there we go. Yeah. What am I there supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Danny, is that the pearl? Ooh -wee! I knew I'd find her someday. I'm rich, 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 rich. Shh, something's happening. Danny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. Okay. Head towards the rock that's jutting out from the ridge. Then walk around it anti-clockwise to get Chupita caught up in tendrils. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Oh, those tendrils, okay. That's what we're doing. We're walking past it, so Chupito gets caught get in the... Uh... Yeah, but you want Chupito to. So, yeah, walk around it anti-clockwise, it says. Hey, lay off! Hey, lay off! <laughs> Where are you going? You can't leave me here all alone! Come back here! She's coming back. Okay. Manny? Don't ask Carnal. Don't ask Carnal. Cause... Don't 
Sorry, my internet's been an ass. Um, right. Go up the lift. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it says simply take the lift up to the next uh, floor and then walk to the right. Look for Mitchy. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. Yeah, stupid octopus. It says just keep walking until you come to mesh, eh? Children's books. Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cabron. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Okay. So you go talk to them. And then after working your way through the dialogue options, the little boy will hit Manny. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. Hmm. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Mech is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! Hmm? I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone. <laughs> 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 Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs.
I'm here. Mm -hmm. Get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Yeah. Okay, back to work. So mean. We supposed to get some off them. Yeah, that hammer. He's supposed to get angry and um. Hello, Mr. Mean Boss. Money. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents. Our parents? <laughs> <laughs> nice game you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? Yeah, we want teeny it's tiny tools. Little good. tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Too the bad for the children. Somewhere. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> Okay, back to work. So mean. <laughs> right, this should be a hammer on the floor or something now that we have to pick up. There we go. Um. So we need to go to Meshe's office I now. I don't know where that is. Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? So, our objective here is to move the ashtray she's flicking at Vagash. Um, and she melts her tights, and we have to pick them up from the bin. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> me? About what? Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't 
believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Man, that ashtray is so fancy you could eat caviar out of it. Once you got used to the sooty aftertaste, you'd feel like a king. I only steal ashtrays from bars. Sorry, just I put me it. Ow! Oh, my stockings! Try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Okay, are they in the bin? Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're... Good. Excellent. Carry on. So, it says walk to the bottom of the screen and click a left. <laughs> Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you, you and I... Oh, sorry. ...who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Mayo. Well, Head down the lift, then go left. Green, take a left. You've done that, yeah. Walk up to Chapito and hand the hammer over to him. In exchange, we'll give you the bus stall he was working with. Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, amigo. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I'll alone. Nice drill. Do the chat first. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. You want to trade something? I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? Oh, a hug. Always a hug. Mm, nope. That's the one thing I ain't got for you. Oh. A gun. Ooh. That's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? I think it's some form of blue-green algae. Ah, 
I don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Freaking, freaking. Yo, Pito, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. <laughs> okay, next, hand in the stocking. Oh, sweet Mary. I da, don't know why. Da, da. Oh. You know, a little clear nail oh, polish would fix these dry up. La -dee -da -dee -da -da. I wouldn't have to wear these. They have a hole in them. Hey, Chippy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, well, it's your hard to get. <laughs> da -de -da -da. Okay, next, make your way back to the lift, but don't go inside it. Instead, take the lift path to the right. Yeah, interact with that. Okay, run up along the belt towards a new screen, then go upstairs and reach the crane. She just went off screen. I can hear him. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just then go upstairs to reach the crane. Move it to, over to the opposite. This side of the island, then lower it before leaving. I'm confused. Yeah. Be honest, I've kind of lost the plot of the storyline since we've been in year three. Yes. Literally lost the plot. You said the crane has to be on the other side of the island. Yes. Okay. Move it over to the opposite side of the island and lower it before leaving. Walk over to the claw on the beach, 
and used that bus stall on it to break the chain. It's a bus stall. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. <laughs> okay, now we need to uh, um, get back to the crane and bring the chain down onto the grinders, into the grinders. Okay, then lift it back up and smash them to pieces. Lift it back up to smash them to pieces, the grinders to pieces. And then once that is done, return the crane to the side of the island it started at. And then drop the chain again so that it lands on the conveyor belt. Here we go. Head down the conveyor belt and jump off where you will see the lever. Use it to switch the direction back on again. Uh oh. This will call, cause the chain to bunch up. Use the lever, lever again to get the chain tangled up with the anchor. Now get back. So, am I going too fast? Gladys, you're okay. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. Okay. So you need to go up to the crane now and raise it again to rescue Glottis. Ah. That's wrong way. Can't run under water, can he? Oh. 
that didn't work. No. Okay, lower it again. Then lower it again. One second, I didn't do something that I think was on the do. Oh, we want it going back the other way, don't we? To get tangled with the anchor. There we go. Okay. Now get up there and rescue Glorious. I can't believe you got it to float. That was the easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh, yeah, this will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. Okay, we need to head to Mesh's office now, then. Hey, what time do we got? Hey? What time is it? It's 20 to 4. Okay, perhaps we should be thinking about finding a good place to stop. Okay, well, use not a bad place to stop. If we get, let's get up to Meshe's office and then we can do this stuff. Then. I don't know where that is. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head either. That way, maybe? talking to her again no we we're giving her the, well we're interacting with her with a gun ah. true a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days come on let's go Mitchy, you don't know what you're... i know exactly what i'm doing now move would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm going to crack you open like a fake wing boss. I'm going to... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker. But a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Probably a good place to end it. Yep. Uh, right, um, 
so the uh, obviously the zoom windows changed so let me just grab the proper window <laughs> That'd be that one. I don't think we bothered yesterday. We signed off without stopping Zoom. Without yeah. stopping share the Grim Fandango. Yeah. Well, so let's just stick it right in the middle and then let's do it like that. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, you look, you're on, uh... there we go. Um, okay, well, thank you for joining us um, on our live Christmas Day special. And um, if you want to get hold of us, you can. You can, uh, can get hold of us at retro at snugradio.co.uk, retro at snugradio.co.uk. Snugradio.co.uk is also the name of the website and if you remember the name snug radio that'll certainly help you out because we're on uh, youtube facebook twitter tiktok and twitch as snug radio easy to remember um mm -hmm. we also have a discord server where you can come and join us and just get involved in all sorts of shit the shit uh, talking shit yeah um but for now I think that's probably it. So um, if you haven't already, have a good Christmas. And we'll see you again in the new year. But until then. Maybe. I've been Muff. Uh, I've been whatever my name is this today. Still not a cluster. I know it's been a week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Moderator extraordinaire, no cluster. That's the one. Till next time, play something retro. Bye. <laughs>